Hi, folks. Rick Waddell here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer at RFG Advisory. Um, thought we'd come to you today with a brief market update, kind of let you know what's going on out there. S&P 500 is at 39.60. Um, that is up nicely since the beginning of the quarter. Uh, we came into the quarter uh, with a 35 handle on the S&P 500 as of September 30th uh, and have rallied about 10% since then. So obviously a nice rally into the beginning of the first half of the quarter. Um, Driven in part by earnings, uh, third quarter earnings, we are now largely through with uh, and companies performed in line to slightly better than in line. Uh, so nothing that really got the market off kilter there. Uh, but then also driven in large part by uh, better data on inflation, uh, slowing inflation. So we got uh, the CPI report last week. Uh, with numbers much better than anticipated, uh, core CPI growth at 0.3% uh, versus expectations of 0.6%. Um, we got softer PPI numbers uh, yesterday, uh, PPI producer price index uh, growing at 0.2% month over month versus expectations of 0.4%. Um, and continue to, I say, would say, get some, uh, you know, anecdotal evidence out there of goods and services that are declining in price, used car prices, uh, new car prices starting to decline or continuing to decline, uh, which I think is giving a lot of people hope that uh, the Fed may not have to go much higher than they are right now in terms of overall interest rates uh, in order to bring inflation back in line to targets. And obviously, the market has been very inflation driven uh, in terms of its overall performance. Um, that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is, or maybe it's good news, um, is that we've seen this movie before. Uh, if you'll go back to videos that we were recording back in July, uh, we saw a similar, um, somewhat head fake uh, in inflation, uh, a much softer print than the prior month, uh, and the market rallied about 15%. Uh, before August rolled around and revealed it to be a head fake, uh, and we gave it all back by the end of the quarter. Um, you know, I think the market's a little hesitant to give the October number the full rallying cry uh, because they've seen this before and they know that, you know, one month does not necessarily a trend make. Uh, you know, we're going to have to see um, a continued amount of data uh, before the market really rallies and, and, and really is convinced that we are past peak inflation. Um, the second, the thing that I would just say against that is, is that we are seeing these indicators of slowing inflation sort of more broadly across a broad number of indicators, not just uh, CPI numbers, um, which is helpful. Um, the last thing that's out there is retail earnings. Um, as we've been in the process of slowing the economy, one of the big questions out there is, you know, can you slow it without killing it? Uh, in other words, can I slow everybody down and reduce spending levels without necessarily damaging uh, corporate earnings? And a lot of times the first place, uh, the tip of the spear um, of a slowing consumer-led economy um, is retail. Uh, we saw Walmart and Home Depot report yesterday. They both had earnings that were ahead of expectations. They rallied a little bit on the back of that news. Um, and then we had Target uh, come out this morning uh, and miss, uh, which uh, is giving a little bit of pressure on the market today. Um, the thing that I would just note about retail earnings are it's always very difficult for me, uh, having covered retail for over a decade in my former life, to know whether or not the weakness that you're seeing in retail is driven by uh, industry-wide issues of consumers just being nervous to spend, um, or whether or not it's more of a company-specific issue of, you know, we did too many lacy tops and not enough straight, or too many horizontal stripes and not enough vertical, uh, and the customers just didn't like whatever it was that we were putting on the shelves, and so they decided not to buy it. Um, I think when I see Home Depot, Walmart, and Lowe's all come out ahead and then Target come in behind, I'm much more likely to skew towards a, this is a retailer-specific issue as opposed to an industry-wide issue. Um, we'll have to see as we start to come into the holiday season uh, whether or not that becomes more industry-wide, although retailers are certainly gearing up for um, a difficult holiday if you are a retailer and a, uh, a welcome break if you are a consumer since uh, sales should be out there earlier and deeper than we've been used to in the past couple of years. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to either myself or to your advisor. Um, I hope you're having a great week. And if I don't talk to you again soon, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We'll see you on the other side of the holiday.